the operation which stopped the German atom bomb program Operation Gunnerside. The commando operation damaged the Vermork heavy water plant, which supplied an important raw material to the German nuclear program. The windy chill air of the Norway coast pushed the Norwegian commandos. The commandos slid down the fence of a building and entered the main facility. The machinery in the factory came under attack with bombs placed by the commandos. The blast put an end to Germany's dream of nuclear enrichment, also topped Germany's plans to develop a nuclear bomb. The mission was Operation Gunnerside. The Nuclear Race The race for the nuclear bomb started with the theory of the atomic fission reaction proposed by Enrico Fermi in 1934. Germany, France, Britain, and the United Kingdom were in the race to find the ultimate source of power. Nuclear fission is the method of bombardment, an atom with neutrons, so that the atom splits and emits energy in some neutrons in the process. The escaped neutrons would strike other atoms and start a chain reaction. The chain reaction will release immense energy from a small quantity of fuel material. In conferences around the globe in this period, nuclear energy was the hotcake. The Vermork Plant Nuclear fuel under research use isotopes of uranium and plutonium. In the nuclear fission reaction to control the number of free neutrons, a moderator was needed. Moderators can observe the excess of neutrons in the system. Various moderators were analyzed, and Germany tried graphite as the moderator but dropped it due to its impurities. Germany then found that heavy water can also serve as a moderator. Heavy water, or deuterium, was tough to extract as its composition in natural water was minuscule. The nitrogen manufacturing plant in Vermork, Norway, was the largest manufacturer of heavy water. Heavy water came out as a residue from the nitrogen manufacturing process. Vermork had a hydroelectric power station powered by the Rican waterfall. Hence, the power used for the process was available locally and almost free. The French had interests in the heavy water from the plant and shifted 185 kilograms of hard water at the start of World War II. German company IG Farben ordered 100 kilograms of heavy water every month from the plant. The plant now produced heavy water for Germany in its full capacity, and the Allied forces were worried about it. If Germany were able to make a nuclear bomb, then it would end the war in favor of the Axis power. A plan got hatched to destroy the Vermork heavy water plant, but it took three operations to destroy the plant. Operation Grouse The Special Operation Executive, or SOE, in Britain put together a team of four Norwegians. The team got parachuted near the plant in October 1942. The team's main task was to scout the area, and to prepare for the main operation. The team had to ski in hard terrain to reach the plant. Operation Freshman Operation Freshman was supposed to be the main plan but failed disastrously. On the 19th of November 1942, two gliders attached to a Halifax bomber flew to Norway. The gliders will be dropped off near a frozen lake where they will meet Operation Grouse team. Unfortunately, due to mechanical failure, the first glider detached from the bomber and crash-landed and killed all its passengers. With bad weather and low fuel, the Halifax bomber tried to return home. Due to turbulence, the second glider too fell off. The survivors were rounded up and shot by Gestapo. 34 British men died in Operation Freshman. Operation Gunnerside. The Germany army was alerted of the attack and knew that the Vermork plant is now a target. The German army deployed 2,000 men, mines, and floodlights around the plant as part of protection. The SOE decided a follow-up operation is required to finish the job, so it sent a team of nine Norwegian commandos into Norway. Parachuted into Norway, the new team met with the Operation Grouse team and set the 27th of February 1943 as the day of the attack. 
The team's supplies reached them via airdrop, by the Royal Air Force. The team had to trek steep regions towards the plant. They managed to sneak into the plant's electrolysis section. The section had only one employee who was ready to cooperate with the saboteurs. The commandos lit some explosives near the plant's machinery. And with a bang, 500 kilograms of heavy water stored was let out. Additionally, the bomb neutralized the plant by destroying the electrolysis section of the plant. The bang was just a thud to the 2,000 men outside. The sabotage teams escaped from the site without even a shot fired. The German army faced massive embarrassment due to the incident as, without any German resistance, the plant was now out of action. Aftermath The plant was repaired but was bombed by the US Air Force from November. Heavy water produced in the intermediate time needed a transfer to Germany. The plan was to use a ship, and transport it across Lake Tin. Norway's resistance group placed a plastic explosive on board the vessel SF Hydro which transported the heavy water. The boat sank due to the explosion, and destroyed the heavy water inventory of Germany. In 2005 some of the barrels were discovered and found to contain heavy water. The sabotage operation of the Vermork plant made a dent in the German nuclear program. With a shortage of heavy water, it was difficult for Germany to progress further in the production of an atom bomb. Also, the sabotage operation brought the German nuclear program to international attention, which hastened the Allies' efforts to invent an atom bomb. If an atom bomb were in the hands of the Axis power and Allied powers, then the Second World War would have become a nuclear war.